All right. While they're getting those samples for you, I'm going to show you how to make another condiment that is really quick. Now, all of these things I'm doing today go together. So I'm doing little parts of it, but you'll see how it comes together in, in a whole later. Um, how many of you love jam? I love jam. You can't find jam without sugar or high fructose corn syrup or preservatives in there. So I'm going to show you how to make a really, really easy jam. And the jam is going to go on a delicious yogurt parfait we're going to make. So hang tight. We're going to make raspberry jam today. So just start out with fresh or frozen raspberries. Now, depending on what kind of berries you use, they'll be tartar or sweeter. So I'm just going to give some basic measurements here, and then you'll, you'll just have to adjust it. Remember, with my recipes, I'll give you something to start with. I'll give you the basic ratio of all the ingredients, but you need to make it to your own taste. Some people will like really sweet jam. Some people like it a little bit tartar. So use the basic recipe I have, and then make it your own by adding a little more sweetener or a little bit more lemon or pineapple, whatever you want to do. So this is the basic. You can make it your own. Berries, you can use raspberries, blueberries, strawberries, whatever you want. And then I'm going to use raw local honey. Um, for those of you that have been here before, you know the benefits. And for those of you that haven't, raw local honey is great for seasonal allergies. It's also a tonic for stomach disorders. And also it helps to, weirdly enough, um, helps with your blood sugar. And it's also full of um, tons of vitamins, minerals, and it um, boosts your immune system. So we're going to use that. And we're also going to use some dried pineapple. When you get dried fruit, first of all, make sure that it's not sweetened. And make sure that there's no sulfur in it. Most dried fruit is sulfured to keep the color stable. And it's also sweetened to make it a little bit sweeter. So. You have to look in the, usually I get it at the bulk section at the health food store, but you got to look really close and ask for non-sweetened, non-sulfur dried fruit if you want the ones that are best for you. So this is just pineapple that's been soaked overnight. Now, what's going to happen if I just blend the blue, or the raspberries and the honey, it's just going to turn it into a syrup, which if you want like a pancake or a waffle syrup, this is going to be great. Um, but if you want it to be a little bit thicker, you just throw in a few pineapples that have been soaked overnight and what that does is it thickens it up and the pineapple is kind of a neutral sweet flavor so that it helps to make a thick jam so depending on how syrupy tech the viscosity if you want it more syrupy or or thick for jam you can add more or less pineapple in there all right plug your ears we're going to turn this on oh maybe not That's it. How long did that take? Less than five minutes because I was talking a lot. So for in less than five minutes, if you just remember to throw some pineapple in water overnight and soak it, in less than five minutes you can make jam. This is made out of whole food. So everything in here is whole food, whole raspberries, whole pineapple, whole raw local honey, and it's 100% good for you. You can use this just like any other jam. Keep it in your refrigerator. If you like it a little tartar or sweeter, add a little more honey or lemon or something to it, and you've got a great jam substitute.